Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble our new double bow die. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you can make this really good sized bow that can be used on gift packaging, um, especially wrapped packages and bags. Also, could be um, you know incorporated into a card. But anyway, the cool thing about this is that you create the double bow with just one. Uh, layer one cut um, so I'm going to show you how easy the assembly is so here's the main part of the bow um, die cut from some uh, paper from one of our pattern packs I highly recommend using this die with pattern paper rather than cardstock it gives you a little bit more flexibility the cardstock's a bit too thick to start what you want to do is flip the bow over and you're going to want to put score tape, little squares of score tape, on each of these ends. And what I do is just stick it on here and trim off the excess here. And I'm going to continue doing that for all of the tabs. Okay, so now I've got score tape on all of the little tabs, and I also put some right here on that top tab. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the backing for the first piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and curve this around, and this tab right here, I'm going to line it up so that the curve at the edge here kind of lines up with the curve of the edge of the top portion here. Just stick that first side down like that. And if you'll notice there's a little um, extra cut right here that helps make the paper a bit flexible. And What you want to do is kind of squeeze that together. Put your finger in the loop, and kind of squeeze it together. You want that to go downward and press that tab into place. This might stick up a little bit too much and you just kind of want to stick your finger in here and round it out just like so. So you can see that's the first loop. I'm going to go ahead and do this loop right here next. I'm going to do it much the same way, bringing this tab over and I'm lining up this curve right here with the top curve and putting it into place. Slightly pulling the loop forward here and allowing this to cross over, pinching these together just like that, sticking your finger in and smoothing out the curve like this. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same steps for the bottom loops. Again, bringing this up, starting with the first tab. This is still loose here. Pushing it up slightly, pinching in the middle, and crossing it over and rounding this out with the index finger. Moving on to the last loop, going to move the backing for the score tape pieces there. Bring this first tab down, leaving this loose, pinching slightly in the middle, pushing forward, crossing over that tab, and adhering it in place. And finally, using index finger to push it out for an additional curve. So there's the completed loops. 
the last step. I'm going to fold this around the center. And you want this to have a nice arch to it, so you don't want to put adhesive there. You just want to adhere this tab to the back of the bow. Bring it around so this narrow part right here nestles in between the top two loops. And attach it to the back, just like so. And you can see here, you want a nice arch to that center. It makes it look more three-dimensional. As the last finishing touch, I've got the tails here. You just want to put the score tape on the back here. And stick this right in place. And there's your completed bow.